Hey there, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust your clearance for your Ford and your direct clutch packs uh, on a Ford C6 transmission. So going together with this one, and um, unfortunately, I'm a little too tight here on my clearance for the forward clutch. Direct clutch is fine, but a little too tight on forward. So for the forward clutch, you want to be between uh, 21 and 40 thousandths of an inch. And I am just shy of that figure on the low side. So pump fully assembled. Here is your forward feed, and here is your direct feed. So we're going to put air in the forward feed, and we're going to watch the indicator and see what we have. All right, now, interesting because I measured this off camera initially just to see where I was truly at. And I was getting like 18 thou, but it looks like I may have a little bit better um, stability here in the indicator and a little bit better feeding on camera versus off, which is rare. It's usually when if I'm going to have something that, you know, could go wrong, <laughs> it's going to happen when the camera's rolling, not when it's off to the side. So 21 thou is minimum spec. Um, now, if you have a situation where you're either too tight or too loose in either of these drums, uh, you have selective snap rings here for the uh, clutch pack that you can swap in and out. And I'll stick a chart that shows all the different thicknesses available, and you can go back and forth between the forward and direct drum in terms of snap rings. Uh, they're not drum specific. So here on the bench, I have a 75 thousandths thick snap ring, and installed is an 85 thousandths thick snap ring. So if you find yourself on the tight side, in other words, below spec, when either of these clutches, just simply swap snap rings. That's all you really need to do. So let me go ahead and install this other snap ring, and then we'll remeasure our clearance. Okay, so it's going to be, well, 84 thousandths. Okay, focus, that's 75 thou. All right, let's put our dial indicator back. And let's give it a go. All right, so that's 27 thousandths. That's like right in the middle of the range where I'd like to be with my uh, clutch clearances in these transmissions. I mean, minimum specs fine too. So if you had a 21 thousandths or 22 thousandths um, reading for your clearance in the forward, that's perfectly fine. Um, the clearances are going to open up just a little bit once you you know get the transmission in and it's working. Uh, it's not going to open up by a huge amount. I mean, you might see a gain of two, maybe three thousandths of an inch in clearance. And because I assemble my units dry. Um, more than likely, that little bit of gain is going to be offset by the fact that I don't have fluid, um, you know, impregnated with these clutches. I, I don't soak my clutches. So, um, generally speaking, the readings that I see here is what I'm going to get once it goes back in. All right, that's forward clutch. Uh, let's go and uh, now measure the direct clutch. For the direct clutch, um, I neglected to measure the uh, thickness of the snap ring. In fact, let me pull it out and see what it is. And I don't know if this is focusing or not. But it's 76,000. Okay, 
Oh. So, dial indicator. And zero it out. And then we're going to put air here in our direct feed. So like this is giving us 27 thousandths as well. It's not quite returning to zero. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight thousandths of an inch. So twenty-two to thirty-six thousandths is where you want to be on this clutch. So we are, we're kind of right in the middle. I'm happy with that. So that's what we'll roll with. All right, let me put the forward drum back on, um, and I'm going to install that thicker snap ring. If I keep getting 21, 22 thousandths of an inch, uh, I'm actually going to run with that other snap ring so I can keep this thinner one for a later build. And like I said, because the forward clutch is a static clutch, it's a non-working clutch, it can be a little tight. You just don't want it to where it's like, you know, 15, 16, 17 thousandths. I was getting 17 and 18 thousandths when I measured it off camera. So that's why I wanted to grab another snap ring. But if it's, you know, maybe I screwed up something and if it's truly 21 or 22 thou, then that's what I want to run with. All right, let's give it one more shot. See what we get. Four clutch. All right, I'm putting about 100 PSI of air in here and it's giving me 20,000, so. I mean, I really hate these kinds of decisions because I'm literally right on the edge of where I should be. So I think I'm going to install this snap ring and, you know, we'll, we'll have to um, keep this one aside that's in there now for another build. I, I really don't want to install something that's too tight. I mean, that's 20 thou at, at full, uh, you know, full pressure. Okay, this is interesting. Now I'm getting a little bit more. I have a 20, 20, 24 thousands. 24 thousands. So I'm going to rotate. This might be okay after all. Okay, 24, 25. All right, so 2425 is the real reading. Uh, you know, maybe I didn't move it around like I should have initially, I don't know, but uh, 24, 25 thousandths with the thicker snap ring in here, the 85 thousandths thick snap ring is perfectly good to go. So we're all set here. Um, just wanted to do this quick video to, you know, for folks that either don't have time to watch my full C6 rebuild series. I mean, I go through the same process. It's embedded somewhere in, I think, part one, but uh, this will be a good topical video for folks that just want to, you know, um, focus solely on uh, this aspect of the build versus having to, you know, dig through a super long rebuild video and, you know. Anyway, I'm lazy, so that's how I think. And so if you guys are like me and you don't want to sit through something, you uh, you have to wade through to get to the information you want, this will be a good video for you if you're interested in clutch clearance for a C6. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your day or evening, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.